Okay guys, so today we are gonna be evaluating an infinite tower of integrals. The integral from 1 up to, the integral from 1 up to, all the way up to infinity, and every single integral is of 2 times x dx. How are we supposed to solve it? Well, as we usually do when we deal with stuff that just repeats itself infinitely long, we can just kind of denote this entire expression as some kind of an i, and then just take this guy right over here, this part of it, and say that, well, this is actually equal to i as well. I mean, this stuff is gonna, you know, repeat, it, repeat itself infinitely long, it doesn't really matter if we just, you know, take out this first integral out of it or if we don't, it doesn't really, it doesn't really change its value as it's going to approach infinity. And so we can just kind of write that i is going to be equal to the integral from 1, to the integral from 1 up to i itself of 2 times x with respect to x. And so it actually gives us a quadratic equation after evaluating this stuff. So we're gonna get that i is equal to i squared and then minus a 1 as we just evaluate this integral between 1 and an i. And so this will give us that i, no, the i squared minus an i and then minus a 1 is equal to a 0. But this would mean that i is equal by the quadratic formula to 1, to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 and then plus 4, all divided by a 2, which is going to be 1 half plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2, so the square root of 5 over 2. Well, it can't really be 1 half minus the square root of 5 over 2 because that stuff would be quite negative and we can't really get a negative value out of integrating 2 times x between 1 and, you know, some positive number. It's just impossible. So we will rule out the first solution and we'll just say that i is equal to solely 1 over 2 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. And by the way, a pretty interesting fact, this thing is equal to the golden ratio phi. And well, was this proof rigorous? Not at all. Was it funny? Absolutely. <laughs> so let's go over what we did here. Once again, we're supposed to solve, I mean, evaluate this infinite tower of integrals. So just went on and denoted integrals from the first upper bound on as an i, just as, well, the entire, the, the entire tower itself, and then just said that i was equal to the integral from 1 up to i itself uh, of 2 times x with respect to x, got a quadratic equation with respect to i out of it, and got that i was equal to a half plus the square root of 5 over 2, which is the Fibonacci number. <laughs> I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye.